and action. I'm Jenna Doyle, and I will be doing Daddy Long Legs. The letters of Miss Jerusha Abet to Mr. Daddy Long Legs Smith, 215 Ferguson Hall, 24th of September. Dear kind trustee who sends orphans to college, here I am. I traveled for four hours yesterday on a train. It's a funny sensation, isn't it? I've never rode in one before. And college is the most bewildering place. I get lost every time I leave my room. I will tell you about that later, as well as my classes. Lessons don't begin until Monday morning, and this is Saturday evening, but I figured it would be good to write a letter first, just to get acquainted. Last night, before I left, Mrs. Lippett and I had the most serious conversation. She taught me how to behave all the rest of my life, and especially towards the kind gentleman who was doing so much for me. I must take much care to be very respectful. But how can one be very respectful to someone who wishes to be called John Smith? You couldn't have picked out a name with a little more personality? I might as well be writing letters to Dear Hitching Post or Dear Clothes Prop. But I have thought a lot about you this summer. I mean, having someone take an interest in me after all these years makes me feel as though I found a sort of family. I mean, it feels as though I belong to someone now, and it's a very comfortable sensation, I must say. However, when it comes to your appearance, my imagination has very little to work with. After all, I only know three things about you. You're tall, you're rich, and you hate girls. I suppose I could say, dear Mr. Girl Hater, but that's rather insulting to me. Or I could say, dear Mr. Rich Man, but that's rather insulting to you, as though having money is the only important thing about you. And besides, being rich is a very external quality. Maybe you won't be rich all your life. I know lots of clever men get smashed up in Wall Street, but you will be tall the rest of your life. So I decided to call you Dear Daddy Long Legs. I hope you won't mind. It's just a private pet name. We won't tell Mrs. Lippett. The 10 o'clock bell is going to ring in two minutes. Our day is divided into sections by bells. We eat and sleep and study by bells. It's very enlivening. Oh, there it goes. Lights out. Good night. Yours most respectfully, Jerusha Abet.